Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for you all. Um, this will be a general reading, so you all know my spiel by now. If you are new, I will let you know. My spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also a timeless reading, so that means whenever you find yourself clicking on this video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Before we get started in the reading, as I promised, I am going to, on camera, um, choose a name for this uh, magical wand that I created. Um, and so I got a lot of folks that was interested. I got a bunch of names here. So you can see there are actual names. My daughter actually helped me do this because I was like, damn, that's a lot of names to sit there right now. So there's names on every piece of paper. I do everything right and exact. I do not talk because I have lips. See, there's names here. I just want you to see there are no empty, um, you know, pieces of paper on here. D. Darko. Um, you know, we got uh, Love of Scorpio. We got a bunch of names on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this baby a nice shake. I'm going to stir it around. I'm going to mix it up. And we're going to choose our winner for the wand. Um, right now we got, um, oh, look at that. That was Future Billionaire, billionaire that just popped out. Um, maybe that's how I should do it. Whatever comes out of the out of the bowl I should select it right oh snap look what happened soon as I said that Michael L to Hooty Ra Mike Michael Mika L that's how I'm gonna say it Mika L to so this is the winner of the wand because just as I said that's how I was gonna do it it fell out so I feel like I need to um be right and exact. So, Mika L to Hudi Ra, you are the winner, beloved, um, of the wand. <laughs> so, uh, give me your information. You can hit me up on my email. What I'm going to do is I'll leave my email. You should be able to find my email. Go to the psych major at Ymail um, and just send me a message uh, saying, hey, Q. I'm the one that won the wand, um, and just leave your address. Uh, but this is your, this is who I'm looking for. Mika L to Hootie Ra. Okay. So yes, beloved, you won. So congratulations. All right. And, um, now what I'm feeling, right, is because, you know, you know how giving I am. I want to give another gift, right? I want to do another gift. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to gift someone. Maybe I could gift you all. Give me one moment. Let me take a look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and gift someone with this uh, protective sphere. These are called witches balls. Um, I've renamed it. It's called witches. Um, my um, protective sphere. And it is a protective ball, which you would hang in like the east window or any window that you may have. If you don't have a window pointing to the east or in the direction of the east, then you could put it in your window, any other window, or you could put it, hang it by your door. I'm going to hang, it's going to be a little string that you can use to hang this protective ball. And what it does is it wards off evil maleficent spirits energies entities inside of this ball are um various um ingredients there is as you can see there is a feather there is cinnamon there are certain herbs and crystals uh but this is something that um i created um and this is a very beautiful way to uh give my thanks so i want to turn this light on hold on a moment because i want y'all to see the ball a little better go to this app change the lighting all right uh Oh, 
All right, this is as good as it gets, but I hope you can see it. I feel like it's not doing it any justice because the light is kind of reflecting on it, but you could go to my website, go to Etsy, my psych major, um, not psych major, higher frequency Etsy shop. Just hit the link. It's in my description box and you'll see these balls and you'll see the pictures. I did everything. I handcrafted them. This one has like Palo Santo chips that I um, placed on top of here. There's just different. It's a variety. So I'm feeling real, real generous. We are in the holiday, holy day seasons right now. So I want to get another name and I'm going to gift you with this um, protective sphere. All right. So let's see. Okay. We got our name. So we got Charlene Garrett. Charlene Garrett. And I hope this isn't, I'm not shipping to the UK. I apologize. Um, but I cannot, I, I, that's way too expensive to send these items. So Charlene Garrett, um, you're going to be gifted this protective sphere. Okay. Um, this is just my way of saying thank you all. As I said, I appreciate y'all. This one wants to come out. So let me see who this is. Oh, Marquita. <laughs> Sorry, Marquita. You was like, you just made it, girl. You just made it. But I'm going to have some more giveaways. I love giving things away. I love gifting you all and, and, and showing love to y'all. Um, so I just want to say congratulations. Mika L. Tahuti Ra. You won the wand. And to Charlene Garrett, I felt like I wanted to, you know, give a gift to someone else. So this is going to be yours, this protective sphere. Um, and as I said, if you have any questions, just look in my um, description box and click the link to my Etsy shop. And you'll see all of my products. Your girl stays busy. I got a lot of things going on. So let's get into the reading beloveds thank you so much for tuning and tapping in my name is q if you are new welcome i hope you stay a while if you are returning you already know what it is beloveds love is love is love this will be a general reading so that means eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply let it fly by know that you are more than just your sun sign so check your moon check your rising check your mercury your mars your venus check your other placements to get a you know a better storyline for you um this is also timeless whenever you find yourself clicking on this video that's exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so for everyone um i am an empath i am intuitive and i am clairaudient so i do incorporate music uh, into the reading and everything tends to blend very beautifully um, so it's going to be very um, interesting to see what comes out today uh, let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe I ask my beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, descended masters, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I ask source, the divine, Mother Gaia, I ask you all to please bless me with the downloads, divine intervention. And so it is, so more to be, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So this song right here is a song that I made, and this is called Progression. So, beloveds, you all are progressing right now. You're progressing in the way that you are thinking. You're progressing in your lives. There's things that you're doing now um, that you may have put on your vision boards, your vision walls, and you're starting to see these things uh, manifest in real time. On the bottom of my deck, we have promotion, pay increase, lucrative business deals. Be thankful you did it. So this goes along with the song, as you can see, progression. So you are progressing, maybe in your, your fields of study. Uh, some of you all will be getting your degrees. Uh, maybe some of you all are getting promotions at your jobs, or maybe some of you all are just finding movement in your um you know in your day-to-day -day life i feel that there's a lot of protection around you mama yemenya uh has taught you the value of loving yourself of knowing your worth knowing your value standing in your power i feel you're very very protective of your children you're very protective of the people you allow into your life because you've worked very hard to achieve some of the things that you've achieved and you've been able to do so because you got rid of a lot of the distractions you got rid of a lot of uh, uh, bad seeds so to speak so let's go ahead and these 
So divine spirit of love and light, there goes Mama Oshun. So you are very attractive right now. And you're not just attractive right now. I think you're just radiating beauty, love, light. You know, you just have this very maternal and paternal energy around you. You have a beautiful spirit and others are acknowledging that. I feel like you are naturally attracting uh, beautiful opportunities, wealth and abundance into your life. And I feel like it's because of the progress. You've progressed past a lot of pain. You've progressed past a lot of trauma. And so now there's naturally, uh, I'm hearing wish fulfillment. There's things that are going to start opening up for you. Uh, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities uh, because I feel like the divine is going to be giving you a flood of downloads. You're going to be activated in some way, shape, form, or fashion. My throat just got a little crazy. So I feel like it's going to have a lot to do with your uh, expression, whether the way that you communicate, expressing yourself communicatively, or maybe your expression in terms of your art or your creativity i just saw 11 11 so maybe somebody will be expressing their feelings um and i'm also being i'm being told uh to tell you all to express your true feelings not to hide how you feel not to keep your mind you know like not to be quiet about what you feel so right now we have standing firmly on your square and it says balanced and aligned so this is exactly why i was picking up the fact that there's a lot of wish fulfillment because you found alignment you're now you know in that sp that space of harmony oneness wholeness and so now this is going to naturally um you know put you in a space where you can receive the divine messages from spirit you know you're being spiritually guided towards something we have um <clears throat> excuse me joe scott and this is called high post brother you all will absolutely be the first millionaire in your family so continue you know progressing my throat is getting blocked up again so continue expressing yourself i feel like some of you all are like <clears throat> excuse <clears throat> hold on one moment let me get this out of my throat i didn't have no problems y'all saw that had no problems until i started speaking That's crazy. <clears throat> so maybe somebody's trying to block your 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 voice, you know, trying to block you from expressing yourself, communicating yourself. Um, there could be some folks saying some some negative things about you, you know, like gossiping, um, speaking with a forked tongue. But I feel like it's a lot of naysayers and haters because we see that you are obviously working towards a goal um, with this high post brother. It could be. Um, you know, somebody that you are uh, attracting to you um, that wants to communicate and maybe they have difficulty expressing their feelings. They have difficulty um, really, you know, being vulnerable. Um, we got go deeper. You haven't even scratched the surface. So, yeah, there's something deeper um, that you all are. Um, and this incubus wanted to uh, jump out. You know, so there is something maybe this high post brother could be someone uh, that wants to come in and then they have, you know, somebody else, you know, kind of blocking them. But the divine is telling you, like, if somebody comes in, you got to go deeper. Don't just um, don't just accept any person coming into your life. Like do your due diligence, do some background checks. I'm not saying like literally, but just like kind of trust your intuition, trust your, you know, be discerning, you know, when it comes to people. Um, use discernment. So we got child's play and maturity. See that? So with this high post brother and then you got child's play and maturity and then we saw the incubus succubus. I'm hearing past um, past energy. This is the energy that you've moved past, progressed past and they're kind of playing games. You know, they're a little salty. 1414 so it is somebody that you end because that 1414 is 5-5. Five, five, that's 10. So this is the end. This is that person that you ended things with. They were very immature. He was dealing with somebody very in, immature and they was acting and high and mighty because we got high post brother featuring common by jill scott and so this is called experience so this is what you experienced you experienced um dealing with someone immature you experienced dealing with somebody who did not know how to speak their truth or own who they were they played a lot of games and so i feel like that's why you move past it um so we got a couple of cards that flew out we have karma dharma 
you attract or you reap what you sow, sowing in good faith. So I, def I feel like you all are um, definitely coming into some good karma. You're reaping what you sow. So the divine is seeing all of the work, all of the effort that you've put forth into just like healing yourself. We saw with my song progression, um, you know, that there was you, you were progressing past a circumstance or a situation. And we also saw that promotion, pay increase, lucrative businesses. So there is progression also in your finances. This could be why, you know, this immature person is like still stuck on you and it's because they see that you are you know you are progressing you're moving past them um we have gang star this is called royalty so this person sees you as like you know a queen as a king as the empress the emperor that divine feminine that divine masculine and they see you having some sort of redemption like you've redeemed yourself and it says the sweetest joy so you're very happy you know good karma is coming to you because you stayed on your square because you did things right and exact and just you remained humble you didn't get out of your bag and I feel like whatever this person did they're also receiving karma but you are now being seen as someone who's royal who's beautiful who's very powerful who's very strong somebody was greedy see that this person was being greedy. They was holding on to you for what they can have, for what they can get. And this is why they played a lot of games. They were very immature and they felt entitled to whatever it is or whatever it was that you had. And I feel like once you realize this person um, wasn't giving anything but just taking from you, I feel like you definitely um, moved on past that energy. You progressed past them because it's like whatever isn't growing is dead. So you wasn't going to stay your ass there in that stagnant, stale ass relationship. You kept it moving let me turn this down a little bit and so yeah they see you as very beautiful you have a secret admirer and remember when my throat kept getting blocked up and I was feeling like somebody wants to communicate and I'm I'm seeing in my mind's eye like that king of cups sitting in the water you know that that in the traditional tarot how he's sitting in the ocean literally on his throne and he's kind of like looking at you but not trying to let you know he's watching you because his head is turned in another direction but his eye is watching you and that's what I feel this could be somebody that you know that you have familiar that, that you're familiar with whether this is someone you know from your past um maybe a past life maybe a uh, a past employment you know um situation or circumstance somebody you worked with maybe this is a friend an ex-friend or you know an acquaintance or an ex-lover whatever it is they are watching you they're still attracted to you they still are drawn to you they still have this this um you know this very strong attraction and they love what they see they love the progression they love the growth they love how much you've evolved i feel like this is someone you haven't seen or heard from in a long time and with royalty they're going to treat you like a queen you know if this person does you know open up and express themselves and tell you how they feel they know that when they come back they're going to have to treat you like the queen or the king that you are because they see the progression that you've made and they also see that you was you know kind of dealing with someone who was only like you know kind of using you this was you know that incubus succubus energy um, definitely is like an energy vampire so somebody was kind of like living vicariously through you or using you flat out um, you know for what you can do for them so let's see what else is coming in for our beloved Scorpios divine spirit of love and light divine spirit of love and light what's coming in for our beloved Scorpios divine spirit of love and light what else is coming in for our beloved Scorpios the message of love and light thank you spirit and so we got patience is also a form of action and the train is going by so let's give it a moment That's a long train. Good Lord. I guess I could go. I thought it was going to start honking, but apparently not. So I feel like a lot of y'all, this is what you all did. Um, you know, you started to really seek higher knowledge. And I feel like that's when you realize that, you know, somebody was dealing with was very childish. And there really, you know, there was no growth there. Whatever isn't grown is dead. And I feel like you realize you had to cut the karmic cords. 10, 10 on the clock again. It was just 19, 19. So you had to cut that situation off. I feel like somebody also was going through some form of, um, you know, maybe there was like a workaholic. You know, because this says, you know, um, for the love of money. And it says... Um, money um moolah dough cheddar cheese biscuits and then it says greed so maybe this person um had some sort of like 
wake up call that you know all this chasing the dollar uh, didn't really make sense you know what I'm saying that's why I hate people who feel like they gotta hustle for a dollar that's the wrong mentality anything you want you can manifest it and attract it to you all that no sleep that's that's like that's like indoctrinating you to be a slave to something like a dollar the dollar has no value you know what I'm saying it, it it's what you put in it you know what I'm saying currency is the value you know and your energy that you put into that is what makes it valuable because let's be real the only thing that's of value is like gold and silver things that actually grow you know from mother earth mother Gaia but this dollar that they just print it up and and just put these numbers on that shit don't have no real value the real currency is what actually you have in your own physical body we got gold we got iron we have silver in our body we got all kinds of beautiful you know beautiful um elements inside of us the same things that the earth is made of we have within us and so you can't chase a dollar don't have that mentality hustle hustle i'm hustling for this dollar no or oh, oh, working working like no beloveds that's the indoctrination they want your ass you because what happens is you stress yourself and you overstress yourself to the point where you might mess around and have a heart attack or a stroke and then how you going to enjoy all that money you know what I'm saying? so it's like no you attract what you want to you you manifest what you want to you and so maybe this person was chasing a dollar they was greedy for a dollar they was focused on money so much that they lost track and they lost focus of what was most important they was prioritizing this dollar you know over you know actual like having like you know real life experiences so to speak so maybe this person you know maybe they started to seek some sort of higher knowledge in terms of the way that they were handling or managing um you know their money management you know because they was definitely motivated money motivated somebody was money motivated and i feel like this absolutely um may have shifted somehow you know they had to look at this differently you know because they realized like you know th they was unfulfilled you know, and so right now we have um, Robert Glasper, and this is called somebody, somebody else. So yeah, so they they was not being their authentic self. They was being someone else. Maybe they were um, with someone who was very. Um, you know, very um, materialistic, or maybe they themselves are materialistic, but they realized they was being somebody else. They weren't being their authentic self, or they found out like th they wanted something else, somebody else, opposed to this dollar. It's like, yeah, you can make a whole lot of money, but when you go to bed at night and you laying in a cold ass bed, and and you know, or you laying there with that fat ass wallet but nobody to share that with or no one to share experiences in life with you just left your whole life slip away it's like because you chasing after a dollar there's so many people who make a bunch of money and then they die right after because it's like they they stress themselves to the point where they're in bad health bad shape because they was you know not getting enough rest rest is food you know rest is like getting enough rest is food or else it's like you're overworking and overstimulating yourself so i feel like somebody definitely um started to um you know take take a big look like they stepped back and looked at their lives you know what i'm saying and so we got bob marley waiting in vain so somebody's waiting in vain you know they was waiting in vain um you know kept you waiting in vain i feel because remember that secret admirer they're they're kind of i don't want to say egotistical but their pride you know maybe they messed up in the past maybe there's some sense of history as i said where this person may you and this person kind of separated because something transpired maybe they were chasing this dollar they felt that this was more of a priority over you over the connection and so they chose to chase the dollar um but you chose to chase your peace and happiness which is why you have redemption and i feel like you're getting you know whatever you put into um you know, mastering yourself and mastering your crafts and growing and evolving and healing, you're getting something back that was just that you were deserving of that could have been blocked. A lot of you definitely, um, you know, took your spiritual baths, cleansed yourselves, purified your spill yourselves, you you clean, cleared, and cleansed. Um, and detoxified any negative energy any stagnant energy and this is why there's this completion completion of a cycle ending of a cycle it's done you're good all things are 
uh, going to be handled fairly and justly. I see here with this um, patience is also a form of action. Many of you have learned, um, you know, that you have to uh, you have to be, you know, vigilant in whatever it is that you want. Um, you know, you can't just give up at the sign of uh, hard times or difficulty or if something's not coming quicker or uh, quick enough for you. I feel like a lot of you learned to, um, you know, to keep your head, you know, to keep your head up even when, you know, things didn't seem as positive. You've learned the, the art of manifesting. And that's exactly what I was picking up earlier is that you learned how to, you know, transmute the pain. You know, you got to manifest what you want opposed to feeling like you, you got to grind and hustle. And I hate those terms. Ain't no grinding and hustling. You you manifest what you want. You attract what you want by tra by changing your vibration. You visualize yourself where you wish to be. I ain't never had to hustle a day in my life. What I do is I create vision boards. You know what I'm saying? And I, I meditate in front of them babies. <laughs> I meditate in front of my vision boards on a frequent basis. You know what I'm saying? And I speak what I desire into fruition. And that's what some of you all have done. The vine is telling me strongly to tell y'all to do, uh, to create a vision board. And if you don't know what that is, it's simply creating a board of how you see your future, where you see your future self. You know, whatever you see in your mind's eye for your future, whether that entails having a home, a husband, a career, a specific pay amount or, you know, um, you know a specific income uh, for your household, um, a specific car, a specific circumstance for yourself. You create that vision board. You go get magazines. They um, usually have like free magazines at so certain grocery stores. I know like um, Harris Teeter uh, in North Carolina has the, um, you know, free magazines that just sit out and they have like home homes, real estate. It's just all kind of little magazines, but you could cut out certain pictures, words, um, things that are the vibration of what you wish to manifest and attract to you. Um, you could put even write on paper and, 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 you know, pin it to the vision board itself. Um, you know, what you wish to have. If you wish to be married, you could put your, you know, your, your dress, the, your, your dream dress on there, your dream home, you know, dream jobs. It's just, it's your way of manifesting and attracting it. And by you looking at it and visualizing everything that you want on this board, that's what draws it to you. I have created about four different vision boards. And when I tell you I'm on my third one, because the two, the, the two prior I manifested everything on it. <laughs> so some of you all are doing that. You are master manifestors and you have learned the art of um, manifesting, you know, how to attract what you want to you. Some of you all can sh uh, switch it up where you have personal vision boards where your personal life, like this husband, you know, have all the characteristics of the husband that you wish to have. Um, the divine is telling you, you got to make effort. Um, you got to make the effort. If you want to see change, always make the effort. Don't just think something's going to sit and plop in your lap. A lot of people get lazy and lackadaisical. But I feel like um, you could have different types of vision boards. You could have personal, you could have business, and then you could have, you know, your spiritual. Um, but definitely for some of you all, the divine is saying create a vision board. You could go to like a Walmart um, or any arts and crafts and you could get like a, a blank cam canvas. I like to use black but this time spirit told me to use white, but I like to use like a black, um, it's like a, like a, a sheet. It's like a large sheet of paper and it's, um, it's large enough where you could put, um, a great deal of, of ideas on that vision board. Um, and I like to use black because I feel like it's like dark matter. It reminds me of like, you know, what's incubating, you know, in the womb, it's darkness, um, out in, you know, the unit out in, you know, out of space, it's dark, you know, so it's like, I just feel like that's, you know, that's how you can manifest better when you close your eyes, you're in the dark, you know, so I just, that's just my way of, you know, seeing it. Um, right now we got ultra magnetic MCs and the name of the song is called make it happen. So if you create this vision board, you can make your dreams happen sooner. Um, and you call, you know, you, you, when you make the effort also, you can make something happen. You got to put the effort into it. So this 13 reduces the four. And that four is about, you know, that that's the energy of like stability, um, standing firm on your ground, on your square, standing up for what you believe in. Um, so definitely make the effort. So let's go ahead and get some messages here from 
numerology, divine spirit of love and light. What messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? Effort, yep. Creativity. Yeah, some of you all need to be more creative. You need to tap into to your creativity. And I'm seeing financial discipline. And I was just talking about, you know, somebody who was being very greedy. You know, just chasing that dollar. Working, you know, too much. Working too hard. Some of y'all might need to take a time out. Just rest. You know, because you've worked hard. The divine sees, you know, what you, you're going to reap what you sowed. So you don't have to work as hard. You don't have to drive yourself crazy. And so on the bottom of the deck, we got happy endings. So there's going to be a happy ending here. Something really beautiful is going to transpire for you all. And I feel like it's in regard, you know, to, you know, you overcoming some sort of circumstance where you was dealing with a lot of immaturity and child's play and games. You know, this this is it's it's resulting in something um, happy for you. And I feel like it's because you're in equilibrium. I feel like it's because you took your power back from that situation. I feel like it's because you have mustered up the strength, courage, and ultimately the wisdom to deal, you know, with this type of energy. I feel like you found love for self. You know, the six is about harmony. It's about balance. I feel like you also are coming into a love connection with someone else. And this is leading to a happy ending. I feel like you also could, you know, have someone who was playing a lot of childish games. Uh, and they taught you, you know, like I said, how to love yourself, how to treat yourself better. Um, so with Karma Dharma, why is Karma Dharma here? And so we got compassion. So you're going to receive a good karma because you was very compassionate, very caring, very loving, very kind to, you know, even the ones who hurt you, who did you dirty. Um, this song is called Make It Happen. So I do feel like you you definitely changed a lot. You made a lot of changes, um, to, you know, happen in your life because of, you know, just the just the balance that you was able to recapture once you, you know, completely walked away from something that wasn't serving your highest good and I also feel like you didn't really judge uh, yourself you know as harshly after a while and you didn't judge this person um, anymore because you realize that people are um, you know just simply who they are and you kind of got to be patient with people we got the lots playing wild out so I do feel like you know this person was wild um, a lot you know they they wild out a lot they did a lot of childish things uh, but I feel like you know that's why this um, karma dharma is here because now they're receiving karma the same as you whereas your karma is something lighthearted and beautiful and positive and theirs might be a little more harsh it's tough love from the divine because they was wilding they was truly wilding out um so let's see what we got so we got financial discipline see that and this is i'm going to put this where this belongs so somebody was definitely like you know really greedy for money focused on the coins only so much so that they was putting everything everyone um that was of importance to the back burner because they was like you know like money motivated everything that they did was about the money and so you know money is not going to be there to comfort you money can't do anything but just you know buy you things but things don't make you feel content things don't you know um fill the voids that you may feel and I feel like this person may have turned to you know some sort of creative or maybe just kind of became workaholics to run away from their problems um, we see here in the middle there's like green it looks like it's green but it could be yellow so I do feel like maybe there was some sort of illumination or clarity that you know maybe they need to slow down and they may need to focus more on their personal lives opposed to just you know the dollar um, leadership here the redemption so you've taken control back power back of your life you are now a leader I feel like you're trusting now your intuition you're using discernment you're being more um, cerebral if you will when you make decisions I feel like you've learned a lot um, in the past you would have wigged out wild out on somebody but now it's like you know how to be a leader an effective leader someone that's gonna inspire and encourage others um, I feel like you all have changed so much that you know with this redemption the sweetest joy I feel like many of you um, with that throat chakra closing up a lot of you could have been very um, hush in the past you didn't really communicate uh, as much I feel like you kind of were just kind of you know you didn't really share your thoughts as much you just kind of observe but I feel like now there's more of you communicating um, 
you know, standing up for what you believe in and expressing your feelings and your 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 emotions more. Um, karmic completion. You see that? So you definitely receive divine intervention downloads uh, from spirit. You definitely receive those spiritual guidance uh, to complete anything that was causing harm, pain, um, anything that was toxic, anything that was one-sided, non-reciprocal. I feel like you really asked your angels and your guides to assist you. That's another reason why Done, Done, and Finn is here, because you absolutely completed a cycle. I feel like a lot of y'all are excited because you feel the sense of, you know, you know, you're feeling invigorated while wow, that flew out. So we got new beginnings. See that? So you got new beginnings. And that's beautiful because we just saw completion. So now you're going to follow your gut instinct in terms of, you know, where you need to go. You know, I feel like you followed your gut instinct and it told you to end something. And now you got this new beginning. So now you have this passionate new start where you're going to do things that are going to um, serve your greatest and highest good. You're going to be, you know. You're going to be true to yourself this time around. Um, I feel like you also have uh, someone coming in who's also been, you know, seeking higher knowledge, who's also been, um, you know, kind of evolving and changing as well, who's gone through major transformations and shifts. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons because the one comes at, you know, that's like the 10 vibration so you've learned a lot of valuable lessons you've gone through a lot of pain you've gone through a lot of loss you've learned a lot of you know harsh truths in terms of some of your relationships friendships and dynamics overall and um but this has taught you to stand firmly on your square to stand erect and to you know stand in your power and not back down and now you're moving forward we see this you know energy of you being a leader and you're having these new beginnings and it's because of you communicating effectively you know, you expressing yourself. This 33 is six. So you listening and trusting your intuition and using discernment, looking at things with your first eye. That 333 is like the, um, that's the, um, you know, the first eye, you know, your uh, first eye. So I feel like with you all, that's exactly what uh, allowed for you to start expressing yourself. There was this sense of like, you know, owning your power, you know, not fearing um, the outcomes anymore because you know over you know fear is not more than false expectations appearing real but I feel like you you started to express yourselves more and I feel like somebody is also going to um, express themselves uh, we got light my fire here and this is by um, Amy Stewart so I do feel like somebody is definitely coming in that's feeling very passionate very attractive you know attracted to you they find you attractive um, and I feel like as you broke free from some yoke spell, um, as you started to seek higher knowledge, I feel like so that triggered someone else to do their due diligence. And so they're going to kind of come out of this watching because remember you had that um, secret admirer. And so I feel like this person is absolutely going to express themselves, communicate with you and tell you how they feel. Um, and so you somehow like broke some yoke, you know, broke some hex that could have been blocking you and this person um, kind of separating the two of you. So my phone just went off. So you definitely got um, some sort of. Um, who is this? Yep. You're going to have a message coming in. And uh, it was just 803 on the clock when that message came in. So this could be a twin flame because that 803 reduces to 11. And then we got light my fire playing at the same time. So I absolutely feel like somebody that is um, definitely, definitely awakened. They're awakened. See that relationship change? I just stopped and looked down and it said relationship. So yeah, this person's going to light your fire. See that? And this is the 11 I just spoke to. So yeah, I feel like Scorpios because you all were very, very, um, you were very serious about your healing process. You took it seriously. So you did everything in your power to make sure that you was right and exact, that you was on good standing ground, that you was standing on a solid foundation. And I feel like, you know, these spiritual baths, like you, you like broke the yoke 
uh, for not only yourself, but also for someone else. I also feel like you've learned to be independent um, because there was a lot of codependency. I feel like somebody else that you also are attracting is in a codependent connection, but I feel like they are awakening maybe something that you're doing um, is activating or triggering them and it's awakening them and they're receiving a lot of divine downloads and interventions and this is going to like push them to communicate to express their feelings because I feel like they have been hiding these feelings this is a red card um, and red deals with the, the root chakra so I feel like you all learned how to be independent self-sufficient self-reliant and you're now standing firmly on your square and so now that you have done your due diligence and you have worked hard to, you know, for, you know, to redeem yourself from a circumstance that was really negative, I feel like that activated someone else. You broke the yoke. You broke some sort of generational curse, some sort of hex that was on you and it's triggering your person. So now we have pride. What did I say about somebody being very proud? You know what I'm saying? Very, you know, kind of like hush, you know, and it's it, to me, it's it's fear. You know, it, it, they, but they're in there. There's a lot of pride, but this says done. We're about to clarify this card. So it says done. So they're, they're not going to allow their, their pride and their ego to keep them from you. And we have, um, this is the roots, roots, um, radicals, and this is called dedication to dream. Um, so yeah, somebody is dedicated to you. You may be a wish fulfillment, dedicated to the fact that they see you as wish fulfillment, dedicated to the fact that they may see this connection as something that, um, they truly want to be in, but their pride and ego has kept them from it. So, you know, they weren't standing firmly on their square. They weren't being, um, they weren't being assertive. So why is done and thin here? So the divine is telling me first and foremost, listen to the music. So I do feel like this person will um, be dedicated when they come in. I feel like somebody may have ended a cycle, may have had to end a cycle and the dedication and time and energy that they put into it has perhaps um, sparked some sort of, you know, some sort of love. Um, some sort of affinity towards music. Maybe someone realized their passion was music. I feel like with this 32, I do feel like that represents change. So somebody is going to have some sort of change. There's going to be, I feel, some sort of um, some sort of epiphany that may come from the music. Maybe some of you all are Claire audience. We got spiritual partnership. So you do have someone coming in that is going to be like your divine partner. This is someone that's coming in to change your life. Both of these numbers represent represent change. But I feel like this 32 is you used music to heal through some some really difficult um, and turbulent uh, times, you know, difficult experiences, you know, in your life. Um, and that led to you, you know, completing a cycle, ending a, a cycle, but you dedicated, you know, a lot of time and energy into your healing. And I feel like this is why you're now attracting someone who's also very spiritual, who's also, um, you know, on the vibration and frequency This says change. See, I can't make this shit up. We got change and then we got spiritual. See this? So both of you all are matching each other's vibration. There's two 77s. So, and then we got dead presidents. So this person was, in fact, I feel chasing that dollar because the dead presidents is all over dollars. You know what I'm saying? The dollars are just filled with dead presidents, especially in, in, in America. You know, I don't know how it is in other countries. Um, I know that they have like on the, the queen on like um, the money in the UK, but I don't know, you know, what else they have. But I know for this, this person was absolutely chasing the dollar, which is why they had to you know, seek higher knowledge. Like they had to go, you know, and, and learn like, you know, money isn't everything. You know what I'm saying? Money is a beautiful thing, but it's you put the intention in it. Like money becomes something amazing because of the intention you put on it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's something that's printed, you know, it's printed out. But there's no real value to money. That's why the the value of the American dollar has gone down so much. You know? And truth be told, I feel like that's why, you know, Gaddafi, let me shut up. Let me not get into nothing political because you know where I was going all the folk. Like I was about to go down the road. Let me shut up. But yes, um, but real currency we already know is like gold, diamonds, uh, you know, rubies, crystals, you know, silver, you know, things of that matter, copper, 
you know, things that grow from Mother Gaia, Mother Earth. That's the real currency. Um, so I feel like somebody had to learn that the hard way. Uh, and I feel like they're learning it because, you know, laying next to that, that, that wad of cash is, it, it ain't, it's not comforting. <laughs> so somebody's realizing that, but I do feel like, you know, by you activating yourself, um, this has to help someone to change their perspective on something. Um, and this is also showing that you're very spiritual. You're very, very in tune Scorpio. And this is helping your person to wake up. This is helping your person to also, um, you know, to, to trigger them to, Tap into their spirituality as well, you know, because we see this right here, you know, so it's like somebody had, you know, somebody's walking away from something that just simply isn't serving them anymore. They're realizing like, okay, you know, money's cool and everything, but, you know, it, it doesn't make me happy at the end of the day. There's so many people that have a lot of money and they still commit suicide. Look at all these people who were rich, you know, in terms of the money that they had. But they weren't rich in spirit and joy and happiness. Um, a lot of people who have money um, that have bad health, they can't enjoy the money. And, and all they want at the end of the day, they would do anything to give that money up to, to be able to have some peace of mind or to have their health and wellness. So it just it's like it's just another way to look at it. And I feel like somebody you 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 had to, to activate or wake someone up to see that because they, too. Are having some sort of completion of a cycle you already know that when you have this type of spiritual dance with somebody um, this is like a, a, a spiritual union I'm feeling and so I feel like you've activated awakened someone um, to their truth so we're gonna use I want to use the african-american tarot so this is very beautiful let me see what we got coming in so somebody was definitely chasing them dollars and this is why we got this here the for the love of money Moolah, dough, cheddar cheese, biscuits, and then it said financial discipline. So they had to discipline themselves because they could have been working overtime. Like somebody was just working like 100 hours every week, just doing too much. So now we have Queen of, look at this, Queen of Pentacles, and you got that Sun card. So you all are absolutely coming in to a lot of joy, peace, happiness. I feel like you're very stable. This is why you had that, that card of new beginnings. This is why you had the card of individuality. Because some of you all were in codependent relationships. This Queen of Pentacles is very, very self-sufficient. She is a healer. You know, she's very rooted, very grounded, very balanced, in alignment. She has a beautiful connection with Mother Gaia, with Mother Earth, with the animals. This is a beautiful energy of someone who's a very giver, you know, very giving, very domestic, very maternal. And with the sun card here, this is peace, joy, happiness, wish fulfillment. There's a lot of la happiness here. And we got the um, song, The Light Playing by Common. So yeah, you, you've seen the light, you know, you realize that your individuality was the foundation, you know, your independence was the foundation for your happiness, your peace, and you're being judged, you know, somebody wants to come back because I feel like somebody's recognizing, you know, who you are, they're getting this light, this clarity, look at the sun, that represents the light, the truth, someone's recognizing the truth of this connection, wanting a second chance, wanting another opportunity, they realize they was being stubborn, they're looking at the situation from a different perspective, you know, realizing they was being childish and immature. But you're having this happy ending, you know, after dealing with immaturity, after dealing with so much disappointment. So Divine Spirit, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. You guys got something so beautiful. Scorpios, you are about to understand the very reason why you could not settle. Because look what's coming in. This Ten of Pentacles, this is not only emotional fulfillment, but contentment. This is building a legacy. This is having a partner. This is going to be your homie, lover, friend. This is somebody that's going to invest in you, in the relationship. Someone you're going to build wealth with. This is someone you're going to build roots with. They're going to make you happy and you're going to make them happy. They're going to be a very solid partner. Somebody who's going to have your back, middle, front, side. Somebody that's not going to play about you. Somebody that's going to speak your love language. This person has seen the light. Remember, you had a secret admirer. Someone that has seen the light and they're willing to come in. They see all the work you've put in. Look at this. Look at this. 
and look what the, your angels and ancestors are arranging this because you see they're sitting here watching and then they're looking at this family. So it's like they're watching this connection because all the work you've put in. This Nine of Pentacles speaks to you being in that pre-emperor status. Pre-emperor status. How you had to work. And remember, karma, dharma. You reap what you sow. Look what you've sowed. The seed you've planted. Look what you are harvesting. This is like carnucopia damn near. Like you're receiving all of this wish fulfillment, abundance, happiness, joy. You got the Nine of Pentacles all on your own. So the divine is bringing that ace of pentacles to make this the 10. And you're going to have a happy family, a happy life. You're going to be overjoyed. And the light is the truth. The light is happiness. This is like, you know, being optimistic about the future, having a sense of passion and joy. You already saw this, um, you know, this new beginning card. And that's a new beginning for you. You're going to have a very successful, positive you know, new beginning, and it's because the work that you've put in, you believed you could and you did. And with this Nine of Swords, I feel like you're going to leave somebody up in their head, having a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. You know, this is like really ruminating and pining. And I feel like they was like confused and conflicted. You see how he's holding the swords two different directions? So it was like they was speaking, you know, like almost like um, out of both sides of their mouth. Like, you know, saying one thing, doing another, telling somebody else the same thing, doing another. So it was like a lot of childish games, you know, a lot of back and forth. But I feel like you eventually just decided to walk away. And that's why you're now coming into this happy ending because you didn't engage. You just kind of like disengaged, detached overall. So let's go ahead. Let's cut this deck. So the light. Now you see the light. You have clarity and truth. And that's the redemption. That's why you got this redemption card because you took your power back from someone who was childish and didn't know how to lead to begin with. So the bottom of the deck, what did I say? You got this beautiful king of pentacles now. First we saw the queen of pentacles. Now we see the king of pentacles. So you definitely are coming into a union with somebody who got their shit together and they're matching your fly. This person is self-sufficient, independent as well. But they're also very practical, very domestic, very devoted, very caring. This is someone very family oriented. Look at this. Ace of Wands. New beginning again. Passionate new start. Someone who has a lot of attraction, lust. They really uh, admire you. And we got Satchmo playing. Look at this. This person is about to come in. A lot of you was dealing with the mothers or the fathers of your child who's being very childish and immature. But I feel like you got the last laugh because you're having some sort of happy ending. And I feel like it's because you're coming into a union with someone who is very self-sufficient, who does match your fly, who is on the frequency and vibration. I feel like somebody was definitely like chasing a dollar, money hungry, you know, playing a lot of games. You know, they weren't really invested in a connection or a relationship. They was invested in their dollars. It was invested in money. And they could have been with you for the money. They could have been with you just for the um, security. And we got Satchmo. But you have this new beginning. And that's why you got that happy ending. Because you got the last laugh I'm hearing. Very, my, like, very much in my mind's eye. And I feel like it's because you stayed just. You stayed righteous. You know, you stayed on your square, balanced and aligned. You didn't judge this person or the situation. And you did not jump off your throne to deal with peasantry. You stayed on your you stayed on your square and you stayed focused on the goal overall. And that was to heal thyself. This 99 speaks to the very powerful changes that you made. You had to transform not only yourself, but the way that you was thinking, the way that you was, you know, showing up in the relationships, the connections. And with this new beginning, I feel like somebody is realizing you know, that you had this new start and it's making them feel a certain type of way. But they're also becoming more, they grew more attracted to you, you know, as time progressed because they saw the growth. So Divine Spirit, why is this 999 com uh, Compassion and Karma Dharma? And we have the Three of Cups. Look at that. What did I say? They're, they're growing more attracted to you. This person has nothing but good memories. You know, with this music, maybe the two of you used to go out to, you know, to lounges, go listen to live bands, go to concerts a lot. Maybe y'all share the same um, affinity towards music because remember you had the music card that um, showed out for the Dun Dun and Finn. And so this person wants to come back. I feel like they're listening to a lot of music that reminds them of you. But this is someone wanting to return. This is a reunion card. I also feel somebody cheated, lied, you know, was creeping. And I feel like this is why Karma Dharma is here. They're alone. 
and they're thinking back to all the good times to all the you know the all the happiness all the fun all the music the two of you could have made together or all of the music you all could have like um you know that you could have discovered together you know but i feel like you was very compassionate um in the the, the, the you know the the dissolution of this connection i feel like you remain compassionate you didn't necessarily get as you know as 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 um you didn't get as uh you wasn't as scorned or you didn't become as vengeful thank you spirit as you could have but i feel like you just let mother you know mama my aunt deal with it you know you let mama my aunt handle you know these individuals whoever these individuals were i feel like someone's absolutely just kicking themselves they're thinking about their games the immaturity realizing like damn we have more in common than i initially realized on the bottom of the deck we got the look at this high priestess so you are all seeing all knowing you are the high priestess very clairvoyant you know what i'm saying very psychic very intuitive the high priestess always reminds me of scorpionic energy because you all are psychic and i feel like that's what you started to do is trust your intuition you knew that something wasn't right about the situation you knew there were lies i feel like a lot of y'all did your due diligence to do some deep dives to go back and to heal yourselves and we got i used to love him playing by um lauren hill featuring mary j blige so yeah you used to love this person and with this redemption the sweetest joy i feel like you learned to love yourselves over this person um because maybe in the past they they kind of had a little uh a little more priority um than they should have had but i feel like you discovered a lot of secrets a lot of lies a lot of things was being hidden from you in plain sight and as you did you know those internal self audits and as you started to reflect on circumstances and situations, I feel like you you, you kind of like stepped away and, and, and this is what led to you taking your power back. You used to love this person, but you couldn't love somebody who you knew was um, being malicious, being childish, being, you know, deceptive. So you had to love yourself. I used to love him, but now you don't, you know, you don't love them the way you thought you did because you realize they weren't who you thought they were. So how could you love somebody that was just like an illusion? And give me one moment. Sorry about that. So 5656 is coming up. That's going to be 1111. So this was somebody that you thought was like your twin flame, your soulmate. So why is this um, leadership, redemption, the sweetest joy here? Why is the redemption? Thank you, spirit. See that? Judgment. So now this person wants to come back. I feel like you're making a judgment call. And your judgment call is that you got to continue to move forward. You know, because like, you know, with I used to love him, but now I don't. You're going to make a judgment call because you realize like, you know, somebody was being very stubborn. Somebody was being um, difficult, you know, and this is somebody who caused you a lot of pain in the past. You know what I'm saying? Because the name of this is the miseducation of Lauren Hill. So y'all had to really like unlearn a lot of the indoctrination, a lot of the fuckery because this person gaslighted, mind fucked. They duped you. They deceived you. Because remember, this is a child. And they was doing this for security. They was doing this, you know, to control, to manipulate, to monopolize. But I feel like now you're having some sort of redemption over this situation. And now this person is wanting to come back and have some sort of reconciliation. But they, I feel like because you've taken your power back, you're not going to relinquish your power to someone who was trying to, you know, to control you in the first place. You know, that's almost like going back. That's like Stockholm Syndrome, you know, to go back to somebody who, you know, abused you. It's like you learn the lesson and you move on. You forgive, you show compassion, but you don't go back to repeat the cycle all over again because this person has to do their work. They're still showing up as childish. They're still showing, showing up as immature. They're still showing up as somebody who has a lot of mental conflict that they need to work out. And I feel like that's why the divine is telling you to be compassionate because the same work that you're just coming out of, I feel like a lot of y'all have transformed, gone through that rebirth, that reckon, um, that re, um, what do you call that? That reincarnation, um, you know, that cocooning stage, you've now coming out of it and you're now this beautiful blossoming butterfly. It's like your person is now going through or that ex person, that ex that you're dealing with has to go through a process of healing. Um, you, you're, you're attracting nothing but kings here. Now you got the king of pentacles. 
you know, and this was the king of waters, pardon me. So they was playing a lot of manipulative games. I was saying king of pentacles. So this definitely, look at that. I, I manifested the king of pentacles, but this is this person. So they was very emotionally manipulative. Child, child just playing games. You know, remember the swords was like one was going one direction, one was going the other. So it was like they was, they was double talking. You know, whatever they was telling you, they was telling another person. A lot of emotional manipulation and games, technology. This also could be your energy, Scorpios, where you all kind of took control of this situation by not allowing this person to, you know, affect you emotionally anymore. This is you being in control, in equilibrium. Okay, so I apologize for that. I misspoke. So, yeah, this King of Pentacles here. This is somebody who was definitely chasing that dollar. Look at that. This is what I'm about to clarify right now. I'm about to clarify the King of Pentacles and look what's here. For the love of money. So somebody was definitely chasing a the dollar. There was money motivated, focused on the cash. They didn't care much about relationships. They was devoted to the dollar. And it says, for the love of money, greed, moolah, mo um, money, moolah, dough, cheddar, cheese, biscuits. That's all terms for money. <laughs> so this is what this person, and they had to learn to discipline themselves, to not be working no hundred hours overtime, and then they don't have no life. And then by the time they're supposed to be with somebody, they look up, they're 50, 60 years old, they don't even have a wife, they don't have no children. You know what I'm saying? And if they do, they're, they're, somebody, they're somewhere else. They're not in a relationship because they were so superficial. They were so um, materialistic. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody who was imbalanced. I used to love him. Now I don't. So maybe some of you ladies are, um, you know, this was like a husband, you know, and this person was, like I said, just like with y'all for the, for the, um, for security, you know, and now you have reestablished, you know, your own sense of independence, self-sufficiency, um, or masculines. This is you all, you know, gaining control, you know, so we got the seven of cups here. See that? So there was a lot of confusion, you know, illusion here, you know, having all these options, not choosing the right decision. Because just because you got a bunch of cups, but a lot of options, especially in the traditional tarot, it shows like all of these uh, contents inside of the chalices. And it's like any of those options could be a good option, but not everyone was a good option. Because in one of them, you had a snake slithering out. In another one, you had like this person wearing a cape, you know, and it was just like, you know, so you have to choose wisely. And so with this energy, this person was very confused confused, conflicted, didn't really know what they wanted to do with the seven of cups. And so I feel like, you know, they may have said something they regret um, with the seven of cups, you know, because it looks like this, this masculine is handing this woman up here, some, some papers, maybe somebody, you know, like handed somebody some walking papers, like, look, look, I, I got things I'm doing. They was chasing their dreams. Um, their aspirations, or maybe they was just chasing a dollar, as I said, because this is like almost toxic. You know, when you're, you know, when you're greedy and gluttonous, it's like you're overdoing something. And so I feel like this person just was confused. Um, they didn't know, you know, they didn't do the right things. And maybe they felt like they had a lot of options, so they didn't need to make a choice. Right now we have beautiful ones. So now I feel like, of course, in, in hindsight, they're reflecting because I do feel like somebody's waking up from the illusion. They're reflecting because this hood, whenever I see somebody wearing a hood, I feel like they're hiding, hiding from the truth, that self-deception, you know, wearing a mask. And so maybe they were wearing a mask. Um, you know, with all these different options, feeling like, oh, I'm the man, I'm the woman, I got my job that's paying me $100,000 a year, and then I got all these people chasing after me, but they're, 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 not, they're not after you, they're after what they think you could do for them. So this person may have got duped and done dirty for what they had, and it's because they were coming off very superficial and materialistic, so they attracted a lot of people like that as well. And so I feel like with the beautiful ones by Mary J. Blige, um, they're realizing you're one of the beautiful ones that didn't give a damn about their money, didn't give a damn about their car, didn't give a damn about none of that materialistic shit um, or superficial shit. You was just you you cared for them. Um, you were caring about this connectionship. I said this connection ship. Let me find out. That's another word. But this this Ace of Wands, they want a new beginning. And look what we're about to tr 
to clarify is the new beginning. So this Ace of Wands, a passionate new start, somebody being very sexually attracted to you and wanting to build and grow this connection because they see you as beautiful. They're absolutely attracted to you and they could be seeking like some sort of wise counsel, going to, you know, maybe somebody in their family that they trust um, and asking for some sort of advice on how to approach you. Uh, but I do see this person as seeing you as someone very beautiful. And remember, we saw Mama Oshun and Mama Yemen y'all in the beginning of the um, reading and they represent beauty, love, family. Um, so this person does see you as someone that they could plant seeds and roots with. They see you as someone they could have in their family tree. Um, you know, this is someone that definitely wants to build a nucleus with you. So that's beautiful. So that new beginning, this person wants to build a nucleus. They feel you're beautiful. You're one of the beautiful ones. Um, you're one of the, the rare ones. Look at this. I can't make this shit up. The Empress. So you definitely are seen as somebody that they can build and grow with. They see you as very wise. This is an owl. So they see that you have wised your dome, that you have braved your light, that you have transmuted pain and turned it into power. With that nine of pentacles, they definitely know that you have worked hard to achieve all that you have accomplished. Because remember, karma, dharma. So you reap what you sow. So you've planted those seeds and now you are having and experiencing some sort of flow. There's a flow of wealth, a flow of self-love, self-worth. It's like you're in emotional equilibrium. You're attracting everything you want to you. This owl has landed on her lap or in her hand. So it's like you're attracting things to you. And the owls are very wise animal totems because they could see through you know, in the darkness, they are like predator birds, but they're also very, very um, instinctual, if you will. And I feel like for many of you Scorpios, especially you divine feminines, divine masculines, the masculine that is attracted to you, that wants this brand new beginning, that's seeking wise counsel, advice, you know, getting some sort of words of wisdom, wise dome from their, you know, from their elders, or maybe even from scripture, maybe they received some sort of download message when they was reading their basic instructions instructions before leaving earth, which is their Bibles, um, they're realizing like they need to start over. They need to try again. They need to come after you because they absolutely see you as someone that is their divine feminine, their divine masculine. Um, this is somebody who sees you as a master manifester. And this is why I was picking up earlier, like, you know, maybe they was somebody who was foolish to be chasing a dollar and they see where you're not chasing nothing. You're just attracting what you want to you. So maybe you are the one to activate them, to teach them. You're a beautiful one, a beautiful soul of vibrant soul this is beautiful man so this person's definitely definitely looking at you like you are wish fulfillment you know you are the man of, you know you are the high priestess so that means that you know how to um attract everything you you are you are highly intuitive clairvoyant clairaudient you psychic you're powerful you know your worth your value you're not settling for less this is beautiful energy so let's see Next, we have this message. We got the Eight of Cups. So this is what you did. You walked away from a relationship that was leaving you emotionally bankrupt. Right now, we have Rock the Boat. And this is from um, the Hughes Corporation. So this person definitely was rocking your boat. You know what I'm saying? You got the notion. Don't rock the boat, baby. I'm sorry. I just had a moment. <laughs> But this person definitely was rocking your boat. You know what I'm saying? It was like troubled water. You know, things was really like shaky emotionally because you felt like somebody was not investing. Um, they weren't putting in what you was given. And so, you know, when you started to take those spiritual baths, you kind of like freed yourself from whatever this was that was like keeping you feeling bound and stuck. Because I feel like, you, you know, with Eight of Cups, that's how much you invested. That's how much time. That's how much love. That's how much energy you invested and devoted into this connection only to feel like you was waiting to receive. And I feel like this person didn't take no type of action. I feel like a lot of people was in on what was going on. And I feel like you finally said enough is enough. And when you started to do your due diligence to like clean, clear, cleanse your own energy and purge what wasn't you know, serving your highest good, that's when you were able to release. But this was a very codependent connection. I feel like a lot of y'all definitely felt, um, you know, maybe you felt... Um, 
compelled or obligated to the relationship because maybe this was someone like I said that you invested a lot of time and energy maybe this is someone that you may have had a child with especially with this child's play um, you know so you could have had a child with this person so he was really trying to you know to nurture this connection and trying to feed it but um, ultimately you realize like look you know self love is more attractive and you walked away and in walking away I feel like that taught you um, your independence is the foundation for your strength your stability your security and your over overall happiness and I feel like that also you know kind of led to you receiving a lot of downloads because um, that 11 is like you know that's the portal of downloads I feel like that self-love definitely changed your vibration you got the ten of cups here look at this can't make this shit up so you definitely with this rock the boat somebody's coming in to rock your boat baby this person is coming in to rock your world this person is somebody that is, you know, they're also completing a cycle. I feel like there was also an end of a cycle, you know, because this Ten of Cups could also speak to an end of a connection. Something definitely changed, but I, ch I feel what changed was what changed in you. You know, it, you, you found emotional equilibrium. You found self-love. You knew your worth. You found, you know that you know your power you took your power back in other words and I feel like that automatically brought you back into equilibrium that automatically is gonna attract a lot of people to you mama Oya is definitely playing a role in these changes you know mama Oya is the beautiful beautiful Orisha of change and that is your mama you know because she she is um she rules over scorpionic energy it's about change transformation rebirth you know um rebirth you know reincarnation so that's the vibration of mama oya that's what she you know um that's what she um brings forth is the change and i feel like there's going to be a change in your love area in the love department for my beautiful Scorpios a lot of you all with this Bonita Applebaum playing right now by a tribe called quest somebody's very attracted to you somebody wants to make love like they want to lay and make love they love your ass somebody is very much smitten by your ass like they really like your behind some of y'all got a fatty you know, some of y'all got a nice little round little apple bottom or something. I don't know. But somebody really likes your ass. Even for the men. Some some women, you know, some of these women. I don't like no man with a woman's ass. But I do like a man that got a man, you know, like nice little, you know, nice little butt. <laughs> you know, so some of you, some of you men, some of you women out there got a nice little, nice little behind. So apple bum. All right. So let's see what else we got here. So look at this. The two of wands. So yeah, you you this is somebody who was stuck at that fork in the road and you was like, "Oh, you can't make a decision, I'll make it for you. I'm gone. I'm not no option. I'm not no damn um, I'm not playing second fiddle to somebody else and you're not going to play me for boob of the fool. I feel like you had to make a decision to walk away um, because you wasn't going to be an option. And I feel like somebody's definitely that same bull. You know, this person was used to being able to come in, go out. You know, this is very flighty in um, energy. And I feel like ultimately you was up in your head like a lot. And you just said, I'm not doing it no more. I feel like a lot of y'all started to listen to your intuition. That 7-7 seven, seven is like, you know, the crown chakra. But that 7-7 seven, seven reduces to 14. 14 reduces to 5. And that's the throat chakra. So I feel like for many of you all, you started to speak your truth. You started to listen to spirit. This is all purple. So that's why I feel like, you know, you started to trust your intuition. That 5 also speaks to change. So this was a painful change, painful ending. I feel like this person was going after fatties, going after, you know, whoever this childish person was who felt like they could just you know be a, a damn bull in a china closet making just rash decisions um they was going after fatties they was going after superficial shit um you know and i'm hearing that damn can't trust a big button to smile <laughs> by poor what's that poison so they bit into forbidden fruit because apple you know that's that fruit that forbidden fruit so they definitely did that but look what you got coming in this is a spiritual union this is the um lovers uh, and this is absolutely like your ancestors, spirit guides, your spirit team, your deities. They're bringing you into a divine union. And this is with somebody who's absolutely going to be in harmony. This is a, a, a beautiful, strong chemistry, a very strong connection that you will have with this person. And it's almost like I feel like they see you and you see them. So this is very beautiful. I feel this person with this Bonita Applebaum, they're very attracted to you physically. Um, as well as mind, body, and soul. I do feel like you have uh, a masculine 
Uh, so feminines, uh, you may have a father that's, um, you know, in the spirit realm, a grandfather, an uncle, or even a brother that is almost like conspiring to bring this person. If this isn't a love ship, I really strongly feel it is. You're going to come into some sort of really um, powerful spiritual connection. Because remember, you had also spiritual partnership. So maybe this is a spiritual uh, business partner. Because remember, we had promotion, pay increase, and then it says lucrative business deals. So some of y'all could be making like, um, you know, coming into like a really strong business partnership. And it's going to be like spiritual, a spiritual partnership. So the two of you are going to share like mutual um, ideas. You're going to speak the same language in terms of business, have the same vision, goal. I feel like a lot of y'all really need to do a vision board. Uh, I, I keep hearing that strongly in my mind's eye. And we got cool Keith all the time. So for many of you who have a new love coming in, y'all are going to spend all the time together. Um, because I feel like as we saw... This is not only going to be a love ship, this is going to be a spiritual partnership. So the two of you are going to pray, you're going to lay, and you're going to play together. So you're going to have a very beautiful connection where it's not just going to be one-sided, where it's just, oh, this is your partner, somebody that you live with, but you don't have nothing else in common. I feel like y'all are going to be like uh, yin-yang. Like, there's like both of you complete one another because you're complete. And next week, look, oh my goodness, look at this. This is beautiful. Scorpios, the name of this reading, I swear to God, <laughs> is going to be you about to meet the reason why you couldn't settle because this is what the divine. Remember, I was saying like your ancestors, angels was conspiring to bring you into union. Now, look here yet again, your angels, ancestors, spirit guide, spirit team is conspiring to bring you into this union. And this is leading to like love ship, family, um, long term commitment, connections, building a legacy together, building a business together. The Ten of Pentacles is two people. People like building a legacy, you know, building a legacy, spiritual partnership. You have the same interests, same goals. You know, this is very beautiful, Scorpios. And I feel like somebody that was really childish and immature, they're going to like, they're going to really be um, conflicted because, you know, they played a lot of games and you're done because you're making a decision to go in the right direction. Look at this. You got karmic. Um, completion on the bottom of the um, numerology deck along with love. So you're completing a cycle with a karmic and you're coming into a divine union with your true love. And that is a harmonious connection. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups. This is beautiful, man. And this is why, you know, Somebody is really going to be thinking about you all the time. I feel like this person thinks about you all the time. I feel like this connection is going to be one where you and this person are going to spend a lot of time together. Um, because, like I said, y'all are going to pray together, play together, and lay together. You're going to make money together. You're going to plant seeds and roots together. You're going to build a legacy together. This is like a very devoted, committed connection. Um, so this is very beautiful. Scorpios, this is very beautiful. I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. I hope this message resonates for you because it's so dope. Um, but I want to also just say again, just in case you missed it in the beginning, um, for um, Charlene Garrett, I am gifting you with this protective sphere. This is um, a very protective sphere. sphere as I said, uh, you could hang this sphere. It's also known as witch's balls. Um, but you can um, hang it in the east window of your home. If you don't have a window uh, facing the east direction, you can just um, place it in any window um, or by the entrance of your door, um, your front door. And this wards off a lot of negative energy. It brings forth for uh, pop prosperity and abundance. Uh, you also have here um, Mikael Tehuti Ra. This is your wand. You won. Um, so... You got to give me your information, hit me up, let me know um, where to send this. But I thank you all for tuning and tapping and I thank you so much for just, you know, showing love to your sister. I appreciate you all. Um, I love doing these readings for you all. I love uh, meeting you all and commenting with you all in the comment section. Um, right now you have blood, butterfly kisses, guapoli. So definitely going to be like, you know, something's going to, I feel like when you kiss somebody for the first time, it's going to give you butterflies. I feel like when you kiss this person for the first time, it's just going to change your world. I feel like you're going to spend a lot of time with this person. 
This is a beautiful reading, man. It's absolutely beautiful. But thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the messages resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification um, so that you know whenever I upload. And if you are new here, stay a while. If you are returning, love is love is love. Peace. Love you all. Peace.